Working hard to make sure everything is going smoothly in Bear County. Only about 42,000 out of the more than a million registered voters in Bear County turned out to vote today. Our Patty Santos joins us live now from the county's election headquarters. So, Patty, how are things looking out there with an hour left? Yeah, the election headquarters, you can actually vote here in the last couple of hours. We have seen traffic pick up. If you're standing in line at these, this precinct or any precinct, you by 7 o'clock, you will be able to vote tonight. But election officials say that an average primary brings in about 47,000 voters, and that's even a low number. Officials don't think they're going to get to that number tonight. And there have also been some issues with mail-in ballots. About 35% of those ballots have been rejected in the past, and uh, the past rejection rate was about 2 to 3%. If your mail-in ballot was rejected and you received a letter in the mail, you can take that letter to a polling location and you're going to be able to vote. There are seven forms of ID that you can take to vote tonight. Uh, those include a driver's license, a handgun license, a passport, or naturalization documents, among others. And remember, you can vote at any precinct that you want. And if they go to one that has a, a line, which we, which we would hope, please tell your viewers that at every site, if they walk up to somewhere by the door, is a posting that says these are the four nearest vote centers to you. And get this, the precinct with the highest voters tonight is in the north side. That's at Brook Hollow uh, a Library. And the site with the lowest voter turnout right now only had about 15 voters as of 4 o'clock. That is on the east side, Perales Elementary. We're going to stay here on the scene, bring you more updates from the elections office. We expect another update around 730. We'll bring it to you. We'll send it back to you.